Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? Big Porky here. And still the voice of hardcore boxing. I've just been told something very, very juicy. Very, very juicy. And I thought I'd share it with my followers. I've just been told that Sky Sports are not going to give Eddie Earn an exclusive when his contract's up. It's not long to go now, is it? They're not going to give him an exclusive but they're still willing to work with him, but he's not having an exclusive. So, will his ego be able to take that? I don't know, but uh, we're going to see, aren't we? But people in the know are saying that uh, it could be MTK that are going to uh, be muscling in at Sky. So, when next deal's up. So, I think that's good, isn't it? Because they pay the fighters on time and they've got a lot of fighters and they work with everybody. So, I think that's fantastic, but... How's Eddie, Eddie going to cope with that? I don't know, but uh, I suppose that's perked per me up this morning. So, Eddie, good morning, Eddie. How are you doing? So, it's tough at the top, isn't it? But uh, we all remember a few years ago when Eddie was running around saying, oh, I've got an exclusive deal and nobody can get on Sky without us. blah de blah Well, Tyson Fury against Vladimir were on Sky pay-per-view, on it? So then Eddie had his exclusive Sky uh, Dazone deal. That were exclusive, wasn't it? But Golden Boy uh, got in there and they were working with Dazone as well. So Mr. Exclusive, Mr. Saturday Night, Mr. Billion Dollar Eddie, stop telling massive ones. But I like Eddie. I've got a soft spot for him, but I don't want to. I don't want him to get out of boxing. I just want him to be a bit more humble. We all know he could never do porridge, don't we? We know that, don't we? Fetched it with a silver spoon in his mouth, innit? But uh, I just want him to be a bit more humble. So, Baza, if you're watching, make him a bit more humble and he might be a bit more likeable then. I mean, Frank's a bit more likeable now, isn't he, Frank Warren? Now he's not number one. And that's just the nature of the beast, but if all this is true and Sky are willing to work with other promoters. I think that's good for boxing, isn't it? Because we're not getting the fights that we want. Anybody who's anybody saw that video I did yesterday, the fights that Sky have not given us, and there's loads of fights, isn't there, that could happen, but they're just not happening, are they? They're just not happening, and fighters are getting left by the wayside. I mean, Cal Yafai were flavour at month, one not long ago. He don't even get a mention now from Eddie, does he? But we get people like Sam Eggington and Dave Allen, they keep digging them up, don't they? They're digging them up and giving them chances. Why is that? Cal Yafai were world champion, wasn't he? So maybe it's to do with social media, you've got to be a bit more funny, or I don't know. I don't know, but it is what it is, isn't it? Well, that's boxing, isn't it? It's, what, it's why we love the sport so much, isn't it? But, uh MTK working with Sky, I think that's fantastic. I think they'll make the fights that everybody wants. If it's a proper outfit, uh, but if it's going to be Tata to Eddie, it's Tata, isn't it? Maybe that's why he's trying to drum all this fake news up around Joshua Fury because he wants to get out of the game. Maybe his tenure as that he's done in boxing has burnt him out. Maybe he's going to go bitter. I don't know. The landscape's changing, isn't it? So let's all just sit back and watch it unfold with a big box of popcorn, eh? Let's watch the onion unfold, and as the layers come off, we're gonna see we're gonna see some big changes. So peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. <laughs>